and Child Nutrition Todd, a nutrition management service to invest in children's future brain and physical health by Hideaki Sato, Ajinomoto Company Incorporated. Hello everyone. I'm Hideaki Sato. I'm a brain and nutrient researcher from Ajinomoto. Here's a question. Do you know when the brain develops the most? In fact, 80% of brain development is complete by age 6, and almost 100% by age 12. This shows childhood is the most important time for brain development. Brain development is closely linked to IQ and EQ, which directly impact performance and are important abilities in order to enjoy life. Recently, the fact that good leaders and innovators have high EQ has been getting a lot of attention. So what is essential for the brain development? The answer is nutrients. Our bodies, including the brain, are made up of nutrients that we ingest. Several studies have found that good intake of nutrients during childhood, the time when the child's brain develops significantly, can grow the child's future IQ. On the other hand, lack of nutrients can have adverse effects. This means providing enough nutrition during childhood is a big investment into the child's future performance. How big an investment is adequate nutrition during childhood? I've done a small calculation. Past research in the UK has reported giving 12-year-old children vitamins and minerals for eight months increases their EQ by nine points. A one-point increase in EQ is said to increase a person's annual income by 170,000 yen. Multiply that with the number of years a person spends working and the nine points translate into a difference of approximately 70 million yen in lifetime earnings. If all the children in Japan were to do the same, the impact would be over 1,000 trillion yen. This shows nutrition has a big impact. So how are Japanese children doing in terms of nutrition? People tend to assume that living in an advanced economy, the children have no problems, but in fact, more than 80% lack nutrition. They have enough calories but lack important nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. It's a new form of malnutrition and seen as a problem. This means Japanese children have potential to further develop their brain through nutrition. I have a younger daughter, and I'd like you to imagine your children, your grandchildren, and their future do you not agree that we need a mechanism to give children enough nutrition? But there's a challenge in making such a service. And that is, not many people know childhood nutrition is important for brain development. So to identify the target segment that will agree with the idea the most, I conducted interviews to identify who strongly wants brain development for their child and who can afford to take action for improvement. I'll call them target one. A lot of these mothers already work on their child's intellectual training, they are highly aware of the need for a good diet, and they care about nutrition. I did a survey on a few of them to see if these nutrition-conscious people really have adequate nutrition intake. Surprisingly, they lacked multiple nutrients and had a lot of room for improvement. What can be done to give their children good nutrition? The mothers had two pain points regarding nutrition. First, they wanted to know if the meals they give their child are nutritionally correct, and if not, they want to know how to improve it. The other problem is the child is picky about food and often refuses to eat the nutritious food the mother provides. I will make a service called the Child Nutrition Chart to solve these pain points. You enter the menu and get a visualized chart of how the planned meals satisfy nutrients necessary for the brain. Further, based on a child's likes and dislikes, you get a recommendation on how to complement nutrition lacking in your original menu. This way, the service helps cover all nutrients needed for brain development. By providing a service addressing parents' needs and problems, we can easily help foster children's brain development and also lower parents' burden of child rearing. Here's my vision. I want to create an ecosystem that invests in children's future by ensuring they get good nutrition during their crucial childhood years. I first aim to do business starting with the child nutrition chart, creating an ecosystem. I first have a B2B partnerships with companies who provide intellectual education and other education services to further expand the business and also increase awareness of the need of nutrition for the brain. And after that, I will look to launch consumer apps and get in the business of food and food education. I shared the concept with several partner candidates and got some favorable comments as written here. 
It said that in future, we will have a decentralized society that focuses on diversity in which there will be more focus on each individual person. Through my services, I want to create a mechanism that increases the EQ and IQ of the next generation so that we can turn out many innovators who will in turn make a rich future society. If you felt you'd also like to create such a future together, if you're interested and want to hear more, if you can partner with me in educational services, then please join me in the breakout session later today. Thank you for your attention.